History and Architecture The Pyramid of Djoser was built roughly 4,700 years ago during the Third Dynasty of the Egyptian Old Kingdom. It was commissioned by Djoser himself to serve as his final burial place, and the design is attributed to his vizier, Imhotep. Imhotep's architectural plans were both ambitious and completely original. In the past, royal tombs consisted of a subterranean room marked by a mastaba, a rectangular, flat top structure with inward sloping sides, made of mud brick. Djoser's pyramid stacked six mastabas of decreasing size on top of one another to create a pyramid shape that stood 203 feet tall. Instead of mud brick, it was constructed out of hewn rock and encased in shining white limestone. Beneath the pyramid lies a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers measuring more than three miles long. Amongst them is a funerary apartment meant to mimic the layout of Djoser's palatial living quarters, providing him with a familiar space in which to live out the afterlife, as well as burial spaces possibly meant for his royal harem. Djoser's own burial chamber was sealed after his death. The pyramid was nevertheless looted extensively in ancient times and his body has never been recovered. The pyramid lies at the center of a larger funerary complex that includes courtyards, satellite tombs, and shrines. In its heyday, the entire complex would have been encircled by 5,400 feet of paneled limestone walls. Djoser's pyramid and many other treasures of the Saqqara necropolis were primarily excavated and partially restored by French architect Jean-Philippe Lauer in the 20th century.